In this video, we're going to find the polynomial graphed here. And what we have, we have three, four, excuse me, four zeros plus one point that's not on the x-axis. Now, none of these zeros hit the x-axis and bounce off. And none of these zeros flatten out at the x-axis. So it doesn't look like we have any repeated zeros. But we do have four zeros, and each one makes a factor. So if x minus three is a zero, then x plus excuse me, if negative 3 is a 0, then x plus 3 must be a factor because negative 3 makes that 0. If negative 1 is a 0, then x plus 1 must be a factor. If 0 is a 0, this is one that gets forgotten a lot, then x must be a factor because that means if I put in 0, I get 0 for the whole thing. Finally, we have 3, so that means x minus 3 must be a factor. Now, notice this looks very similar to answer A, but answer A is not quite correct. We were also given a point that has to go through the point 2, 6. So what we'll do is we'll put a factor of A out here, and we're going to solve for A by plugging in 2 for X and 6 for Y. So 6 equals A times, we're going to plug in 2 for all our X's, 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2 minus 3. And this equals a, we have 5 times 3 times 2 times a negative 1. And that's going to be a times a negative 30. So solving for a by dividing by negative 30, what we get is that a has to be negative 1 fifth. So we need the one with all those with those four factors, x, x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus 3, and a coefficient of negative 1 fifth. We also know it had to be negative because both ends open downwards. So the least possible degree of this polynomial, it at least has to be a 1, 2, 3, 4 degree polynomial. We can tell that it has to be even. We can tell by the number of turning points, these, or we can tell by the number of factors.